There is a place where the lost embers go. As the light begins to fade, Ember ran, because standing still made them feel helpless. The wall glistened. Ember felt so afraid and alone that it was a relief to find someone to talk to. Ember froze, almost too frightened to look away, when they noticed a small satchel. felt heavy. Ember looked inside. The statue shone brightly in the light. There was a symbol on the floor. Ember noticed something wrong. There was a round space where something used to fit. To Ember's delight, the golden statue slid perfectly into place. Ember left, feeling sorry for the stranger now alone in the dark. The stairway opened into a dark forest. Ember could feel fear taking over. They'd washed up alone. Ember felt like they were being watched. As Ember approached, the flames seemed to call out. With a feeling like falling, the forest fell away. Ember felt lost in darkness and ruin. The caged flame stoked new hope in Ember. within reach. The flame spoke and Ember listened.
the flame lingered ahead. Was it trying to escape? Or leading the way? Fire flickered into life. The ghost spoke. Hope has returned to a forlorn. They will be safe here. I will warn them. Ember looked to the ghost for answers. This is a place between places. To travel through as your light fades. But none have passed in a long time. The Forest King holds us here. And those who dwell too long turn forlorn. Again that word, forlorn. The forlorn are those who lost their way along the path. If you find them, send them to me and I will guide them. I am just a guide along the way to fan the flame. So many lost embers have I seen, more than I could help. Ember thought of those they loved, those they'd left behind. The path ahead lies behind that door. Do you wish that I open it? Know that if you return, you will always be welcome. Little one, your journey ahead will not be easy. The path to leave this place is blocked. I will guide others to follow after you clear the way. Others like me who can help. You will always be welcome here in the forest. Once again, Ember could feel eyes watching. Inside was a scrap of journal. I am so scared. I've never been alone like this before. This is a place between places. It doesn't feel real to me. Joked. Another scrawny ember from the forest. And with a bag looking all nicely and shiny, both guards started looking at Ember with a deathly stare. The guard leered. The forest king would like you, little scruff. Yes, come a little closer. Let us see what's in that bag. We guard the door to the forest king. Oh yes, we decide who gets to see the king. The forest king will want to see you. Yes, yes, come this way. A 
feeling of foreboding overcame Ember. Ember was terrified but tried not to show it. The giant bird spoke softly. Another little Ember. Speak, little one. Do not fear. The bird is a friend. Ember wanted to feel safe. Oh, little Ember, birds won't hurt you. Birds will take another under our wing. Stay safe in the nest, you'll never turn forlorn. Ember was still afraid. Is it the night that scares you, little one? Night is gone. Day is here. Birds will make the world less frightening. It wasn't only the night that frightened Ember. The bird grew frustrated. Do not become like other embers. Trying and failing and turning forlorn. Birds will protect you from false hope. The forest king spoke so gently to Ember. Perhaps they could rest here for a while. It was hard to know what else to say. Clever little Ember. You will stay. You will not turn forlorn. Search for hope no more. Now take this feather. Feather means Embo is one of us now. Birds keep little ones safe. Birds should never leave the nest. Guards seem pleased. Clever scruff sticking with us. I can hold that bag for you. Leave them alone. They're one of us now. Yeah, one of us. And we all share bags and things. Back again. Where's the other little ones? I'm sure we don't know. They left the quick way, right over the walls. Ignore them. They're just having a little joke. Yeah, having a bit of jokes. It didn't feel like a joke to Ember. He's resting now. It takes a lot, you know, turning night to day. Don't stray too far. The ashes were still warm.
the stranger wanted Ember's attention, being careful not to speak too loudly. You should get away from here while you still can. You can't trust the birds. I've heard there's another campfire in the marsh. Well, that's where I'm going if I can find a way down. Back again. We'll be watching you. Guards squawked. Stand back, don't come any closer. Nothing down there but sadness and turning forlorn. Go see the Forest King. He'll set you straight. One of us now, I see. Got your feathers, it's the only way. Keep an eye out. No one but us birds can pass. Ember didn't like deceiving the birds. But what choice did they have? They couldn't rest in that place forever. They had to keep going. The Wanderer's Diary. On my lanthorn, playing a hollow tune to ward off the fear, a songbird took its perch beside me. Ember hurried away from the birds. The mist hung close to Ember, hiding them. The forest king seemed frightened, the birds cruel. Ember would rather risk turning forlorn than become like them. Ahead there would be others to help, and maybe a way to move on. It looked like a map, but pieces were missing. The piece formed a new route. It was the same place as before, but how? An eerie scene, like a moment frozen in time. Ember found the Wanderer's Diary. The frog in the forest knows more than they will say. I watch them carefully. I dare not go in the caves. The spiders whisper. The caves are deep.
Amber uncovered a journal entry. The forest is misty after the morning rain, but there are pathways to find between the trees. Patches of sky through the canopy, rain-laden clouds above. <laughs> 